hi guys welcome back to val's kitchen today i'm gonna be doing a jamaican caesar rice it's my belly growing already because right now i wash out my belly for this food i remember shout out you know so all you have to do is just turn on the post notification bell put the settings on all and just comment right as usual a peanut part video it out now you can go and watch it and guys thanks for the new subscribers right big up on yourself i see ya big, big up the old time subscriber them from the one from the first video my post big one up so guys here i have some hockey a clear i carried but this is a part that we don't want you understand what i always take off this part right the see that you have the inside here so so we always take on. We just want to show people because some people don't don't know about aki. So you know, just for the ones that don't know about the aki. Okay, guys. We have salt fish. I'm gonna be boiling out this. This soaking you know, up. The salt fish already soaked up. Majority of the, the salt. So I'm just gonna put the aki and the salt fish to cook together. I'm gonna cook the aki for about five minutes because you know, say so I season rice. So I'm gonna want it overcook. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cook it partially. I'm not gonna put some pumpkin. I'm not, I'm not gonna be using any carrots because we don't have the ackee and we don't want to overload the, the seasoned rice with too much things. Okay, and uh, I have my coconut, so I'm gonna blend it out to get the milk to cook the rice. Yes, guys, so come along with me now and I'm gonna show you all how I'm gonna put the stuff them together to get me a perfect seasoned rice. Okay, so guys. I'm gonna put in the fish. Just a boil this for five minutes. The fish and the aki. Okay, because now I'm not gonna be cooking the aki too long. Right? Just cook the aki just to kind of soften it up because because the aki gonna cook with the rice again. So now you have to be careful, guys. Yeah, and you see the aki and the salt fish. You're not supposed to put the aki with the salt fish, you know, but because just because. The salt fish soak the salt I already soak out of the salt fish so that is the reason why I could put the aki and the salt fish together so guys be mindful of that because if you cook put the salt fish and the aki together and then and it don't soak out you're not gonna can eat the aki because they're gonna be too salty so make sure that if you end up be putting the salt fish and the aki together make sure you get a majority of the, the salt from the salt fish okay guys yes so i'm gonna start make this boil up for five minutes all right i'm gonna be blending some coconut to get the milk okay to cook the rice So guys, here is the coconut milk. Again, you can use any coconut milk of your choice. But you don't know, as I tell you all already, the reason for using the, the natural coconut is a, just a different flavor it gives. You know, it just gives a different flavor. Yeah. These are the ingredients to cook up the ackee and the salt fish. I'm not gonna be using any tomato or any, any sweet pepper, right? We just want them just the flavor with the garlic. I put two pigs of garlic, crush two pigs of garlic, and so again, there's some pumpkin. I won't be using any carrots or so because you know the ackee and you don't want the dish too overcrowded. You don't want the Caesar rice too overcrowded with all of the carrot and all of the, the mixed vegetable. You know them way there? So I'm just, I'm just using the pumpkin, the ackee, and the salt fish. And I'm gonna be using some rice is a must <laughs> okay guys rice is a must and I'm gonna fry some plantain for the side dish okay yes we have a little black pepper I use both about six I take out back some of them pimento to see them no I don't want so much in the aki because when the aki cook me okay, I use well pick them out back still you know I, I'm not sure about the salt because the salt fish you know so I'm not sure right and some butter all right i'm gonna put in put some oil i don't want a lot you know just a small amount I'm just, i still don't want my rice to be too greasy some scallion I'm 
So I'm gonna crush two pegs of garlic. Whoopsie. You know, pumpkin are to cook, so we're gonna do this. Still, I'm gonna put in the pumpkin, right? Four seeds of pimento, they can easily take out back. You know. And the salt fish. Want to keep that pile. Okay. You put a yarn on it. Wait a minute. Not really hot. It's just bland. And the real hot bunny pepper. You know. Okay. Okay, I want the flavor. I want the salt fish flavor from the salt fish, the scallion, the garlic. I want everything to come out, you know. I want everything to come out. And then let's put in the aki. Mm -hmm. All right. Turn the aki. As I said already, guys, remember I didn't cook the aki full, full hundred, right? It never cook up because we're gonna be like cook it over again with the rice with the season, you know what I'm really? So I just half cook it, yeah, half cook it. Just want all of the flavor come out. Let's make it cook out, steam out for about a five minutes, turn on the stove and a low heat. The act is still standing, right? So I'm gonna be pouring in my coconut milk. Yeah, let me change up at here now, guys. I think I'm gonna change this part, put it into the Dutch part. Yes, that I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I'm gonna try change the part and come back, guys. I am back, guys. I changed the part because I realized the part will be a little too small. So at this point, now I put in the coconut milk and all the ingredients, the scale and the thyme. Yeah, you see the custard, you know, you know, the rice, the Caesar rice, you have a nice. Right, so I'm still, I'm still gonna put in a little butter. You can taste it now, and um, you can sprinkle some black pepper in. A little black pepper, just to turn up the flavor. You know, and um. Can taste it now for salt because I, I didn't put any salt. It's a little tip. This is less than a teaspoon. This is a small, small bit of salt. Yeah. And so the aki them still standing, guys. But you don't want your aki to soft out. You, know, you don't mash out too much in your, in your rice. Yeah, you want the aki them stand up nice and you know you don't want it too mushy. So we can just make this go and cook down for our five minutes and we're we'll gonna wash the rice and come back. Alright guys. So guys, I wash the rice. You know, drain out most of the water, as much water as possible from your rice. I you don't want the rice, put the rice in your pot with too much water. Right? 
and this is a trick you know guys if you want the rice to come out shelly and nice you see the aki the aki and the and all the pumpkin and all them stuff there guys you don't have to put a lot of water okay you don't have to put a lot of water because all those things have been a lot of moisture so if you don't know what you're doing you will get a saggy rice a saggy seasoned rice guys and you don't want that okay mindful of the, of the amount of water so i'm gonna be closing down back the pot now let it go and just take your time and steam all right guys this is the rice it's steaming but it, it's not finished as it because as you can see the greens do want to steam some more i'm not gonna mash up mash up the aki today you know the way there just take your time and but i'm gonna cover it back still because i want to come out Shelly are nice. So guys, this is the this finish, you know. Finish, finish. You know, I'm gonna instead for put water, guys. You just press a piece of file paper over it too. You know, you just press a little piece of file paper. You see all them something here, you know? You can always take them out. You don't want it no more. You know? Get a perfect, yeah. The aki them still nice and firm, same way, and the rice chili and nice, yeah. And you see, if you cook, when you, you know the best thing about the season rice here, guys, when you cook it in a pot like these, you can get all the bottom, the bun bun. We don't call it the bun bun. <laughs> the bun bun are the best part, you know, guys, because you see the coconut milk there. Mm hmm The bottom of the pot here with the yo the best part this mighty god. Mm-hmm. So see the rice cook. Mm-hmm. The rice cook. So just gonna turn off the stove. Share a plate. Okay, turn off this. Yes, guys, so this is the finished dish. What I'm gonna be doing now is sharing a plate. You see all them delicious. Yeah, I'm not gonna be using the ramekin because I got too small, so you know, we just have to put it in the plate. I'm gonna use the ramekin, the aki and them something, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna show to that, so just, you know, I want to have my good stuff to show up. Aki, some pumpkin. Yes, guys, this is my finished product. All right, my Aki season rice. On the side, I have two pieces of planting and a slice of pear, right? And today's shout out will be going to Barbara Richards and Sharon K. All right, guys, Woo! thanks for the support, guys. You're always in the comment section, but patient with me, everybody. It's gonna get their shout outs, all right, guys. So, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell, put it on all, so you never miss an upload. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and have a blessed night or a blessed day, wherever you are. Yes, guys, let me just give you a little taste. It's very moist, you know, because the coconut milk, you can still taste the coconut milk. And, you can taste everything, so you know. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Alright, and bye.